Hi everybody, I'm Shelley with the Mournville Community Library and this month we're going to be doing a mini Zen garden for our adult creativity um, project. Um, so some of the items that um, you're going to find in your bay, um, sponsored by Jiffy Lube, is you're going to pull out your frame, you're going to have some sand, we've got a paintbrush, We've got a bamboo fork and a bamboo, bamboo skewer. We've got a Japanese blossom. And then some little trinkets that are in. We've got some uh, die cast hearts in this one. We've got a candle and we've got some stones. And this project is something that we're doing this month for uh, health and wellness. Um, so let's get started with that. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to paint this box and this is going to hold all of our items for our Zen garden. So you should have some black paint and a paintbrush. You may need to add some water as the paint came out a bit thick filling those containers. And I suggest that we start with the back first so that it has time to dry before we flip it over uh, to create the other part uh, of our garden. Give this a thin overall coverage. If you have a hair dryer, uh, that would be super handy to speed the drying. But just a thin overall coat here on the back and the sides. So next we're going to go ahead and we're going to paint the inner part of our box here. Uh, and I found there was no need to go ahead and paint the base of it as we're going to be putting the sand down in there. And I didn't want to get any of the paint into the sand at all. So go ahead and get this all thoroughly covered and make sure that it's completely dry uh, to the touch so that we don't have any paint kind of uh, adhering to the sand or vice versa. So, and this is our first element. We're gonna go ahead and put the sand into our meditation box. And uh, this is meant to represent water. Um, this is what's going to bring everything into harmony uh, with our box here and um, the main element used to help us um, do some meditation or reflection while we are creating in our little boxes here. Um, sometimes we just need to take a little bit of a pause from the chaos that's going on around us. So that is... Um, one of the characteristics uh, in particular of this box is we want to take that little bit of a, a brain break here and um, step away into some other uh, peacefulness. So next here we've got our stones and our stones are representative of our foundation. So this can be our energy, our strength, our power, you know, and these can go anywhere in the box, whatever feels um, balanced to you. Um, the whole point is bringing things into harmony. Next, we're going to grab our candle, and that is representative of enlightenment. Um, and it's also what can be used as the light to guide us on the paths that we're going to be creating in this sand or this water as well. Next, we're going to go ahead and grab our uh, Japanese uh, blo cherry blossom. And this is representative of our inner and outer beauty. So you can go ahead and place that uh, where you feel best in your box. And then I've added a little trinket to go ahead and just place into the box as well. And this is something just to personalize your box. Uh, I chose the heart because the heart is kind of the foundation of your body. And that we want to bring focus back to the main part of our body uh, with this uh, meditation box. So we've got that placed in there. Uh, next we've got um, the bamboo fork and the skewer and this is going to be used to create our designs throughout the sand or if you're thinking of it as water you know these can be the waves that we've got going through there but the, the whole reason for this is we want to uh, create some calmness in, in our little garden. And it's a great way to help us focus 
on the moment. And you can do whatever design you wish to do in there. And of course, you can uh, take all your elements out, shake it up and uh, do it again. Uh, just a great way to kind of focus and meditate on the moment. So um, another thing that I found is uh, using words of intention and that, and this is something else to bring us into focus. So, you know, maybe when we come up to our uh, Zen garden here and we're having a hard time focusing and that sometimes a word can help put us into that um, focus state and that. So some of the words I thought of were joy, calm, peace, laughter, you know, you can choose to put a, an intentional word or not uh, onto your fork. Um, but I found, you know, having this sitting on my kitchen counter, whenever I look at my box, the first thing I see is this word of intention. And uh, that kind of gets me focused into a different headspace. And that's so um, I chose the word calm, and that's what I've put onto my bamboo fork or my rake. So I'm going to add that into my box there as well. And uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much uh, everything that I've brought together with this box. Um, it's something that, again, it can be used at any time of the day. Um, another thing, uh, if you go to your local dollar store, Dollar Tree, and that you'll find miniature elements that you can um, further decorate your box with. Of course, you don't want to get it too cluttered. I found this wishing well, and I thought it was just very apt to put into my Japanese garden. I uh, just added that one more element to it, and I like the naturalness of the greenery that's on there as well. So I hope you enjoyed doing this uh, Zen garden box and I hope you get a lot of enjoyment out of it. Um, focus, meditate, be good to yourself. And I would love to see what your creations are. So uh, shoot us a picture when you've got a finished uh, Zen garden to the library. I'd love to see it. I've also added to your package some uh, mindfulness information. Uh, these items I found at albertahealthservices.ca. They have a wealth of different uh, brochures and informations and topics that you can check out there as well. But I've added this little bookmark, gives you some quick little cues uh, to bring you to a space of calm. Um, there's one sheet on uh, Zen Me is uh, some technique, breathing techniques um, to help as well bring you to a space of calm. And then we have the mindful walking as well, which uh, brings you through some different uh, techniques of breathing, connecting with your senses, uh, connection in your environment, and gratitude as well. So as I said, all these information uh, items were at Alberta Health Services. I hope you enjoyed this 